Uh, Zaka Zaka says, I'm currently stuck at constant resolution. I can create a dependency tree, but due to having constant pr procedures, it would be slow to resolve this from ASTs. And constants appear in array types, which blocks the ability to do full type check. Consider making full untyped IL like in Zig. I'll see, um, let me try and visualize your problem. So you have a const a equals 20, and then let's say a let b equals b is an array of i32. Uh, let's do like 2 equals 1, 2. This is what you're trying to do, I'm pretty sure, is what you're trying to say. And you're saying, I'm currently stuck at constant resolution. I can create a dependent. So this is like a, you mean like a dependency tree on what closures depend on each other. Okay, that makes sense. But due to having constant procedures, it would be slow to resolve this from the AST. Const procedures, global constants, and size of T. Oh man, I'm going to want to add this on my own language. So... What you just explained is, is a very is a very hard thing. Um, what okay? What what programming languages do is constants. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to assume that constants can only be declared at the. Uh, actually, no, no, no. When constants are declared at the top level, they can be in any order. Is that is that what you're talking about? Constants at the top level, they can be in any order, in, in, uh, in any order, right? There's like a, not hoisting, it's, um, uh, yeah, yeah, top level constants. If a constant was inside a function, if a constant was inside a function, that would be very easy to resolve. But, okay, when they're at top levels, let me, I'll explain what the Haskell compiler does. Uh, Haskell uses a HM type inference, Hindley Milner. So it has to go linearly from top to bottom, and when you reach and when you reach and identify, it has to be already resolved. Ooh. Oh god. So what the Haskell compiler does is all the top level declarations, it runs a pass. It goes inside the top level declarations. Are you referencing something that's ahead? Right? So all it does is you have a list of these of these uh top level constants, and after the pass that Haskell runs, it sorts them. So let's say this accesses like something something down here. It'll sort them. This will go up to the top. So this will get type checked and then this. And then it goes a linear scan from top to bottom. I think that's your solution. I think that's your solution, a linear scan from top to bottom. However, there's there's going to be things in cross mod I think you'll probably uh, an issue was cross module. Constants from cross module I think that's uh that's one of the um that's, I think that's a thing that you're probably adding as well constants cross module. So what you'll need to do then is ensure that modules don't have cyclical dependencies and then you have to sort your modules. That means uh when you're parsing when you're parsing a when you uh, what do you say? Uh, I did make a dependency to find cycles and resolved everything nicely before. Uh and did you get rid of it? But now I want constant procedures, which is a bad to do from the AST. Hmm. Constant procedures. So languages like uh, Rust and Zig, they use a separate uh, intermediate representation. Uh, Rust is MIR, mid-level IR. Zig is, I think it's ZIR, Zig IR, untype Zig IR. Meaning that the interpreter would be slow. Uh, well, okay. Um, I think I'm pretty sure is I'm pretty sure the ZIR is is a uh, is a uh, is a tree walk interpreter. I'm pretty sure. Um. Oh God, I don't want to make I don't want to uh, zig interpreter. Is it a tree walk interpreter? Comp time interpreter. Please don't blast me in the face with some brightness. Please don't. Please don't do it. Okay. Good. Let, let me let me find out. Is this is this a tree walk? Interpret result. Hunt it down. Wow, these are some funny names. Now, is this a tree walk? Uh, sorry, I just want to I just want to solve this question. 
Aha. Okay. Now you're saying, yeah, yeah sir. This is this, this is what I suspected. Uh, the um the the zig the zig intermediate uh, the zig comp time is is basically AST. You're basically going tree all the way down. So uh, you you say the interpreter would be slow, but in reality, it's really nothing. It's uh it's it's really it's really nothing. Uh, if zig does a recursive tree walk interpreter. And it's fast enough. I think. I think you're fine. What Rust does, though, is it converts your uh, AST, so it has a typed AST, into a MIR, mid-level IR, and that is statement-based. That is basically what I am doing with this IR, with our statement control flow blocks. And then they do constant propagation on that. Not co uh, not constant propagation. Constant evaluation on that. Uh, I think. Um, you already have you already have all the legwork for constant you already have all the legwork for like dependency trees and cycles and everything and everything's so nice but uh i don't see the reason why not to do a uh to do a tree walk interpreter with the ast i don't think that's such a bad idea i don't think that's such a bad idea now you have two solutions that's your first solution your first solution is to do a tree walk ast interpreter that's what zig does it's fast enough you don't have to worry. It's pretty fast. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to worry. Um, you already have all the legwork. You've done the hard part. The easy part is interpretation. So that's your first solution. Your first solution is to do a tree walk. Your second solution, uh, ditch the AST entirely and do what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is, and I talked for ages. Uh, I don't know what time you got in this stream. But uh, this, um, what I'm doing is, you know how Rust goes from an AST to a M, uh, MIR, like a mid-level IR? I just ditch the AST and just go straight to uh, the mid-level IR. So it's already in a control flow statement-based, uh, comp time ready uh, thing, right? Yeah, so AST, HIR, yeah, typed HIR and MIR. So that's all the ways the Rust goes. Yeah, many stages, many stages. Uh, yeah, so what I do is I just skip straight to MIR. So you've got two solutions, tree walk interpreter. I say that's your best bet, right? Because you've really done all the hard parts. Or, or the second part, um, you can just skip the AST entirely. Right. Skip the AST entirely. Uh, you know, if I was running a Zig compiler, I wonder, I wonder how it would... I wonder how it would work if I could just skip the AST entirely and represent the entire Zig language as this, like, uh, state machine or something. I don't know. It was just these random thoughts. But uh, I think it's fine to do a tree walk interpreter on the AST. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. Zig does it. If Zig does it, if Zig does it uh, you can do it too. Good stream. Yeah, yeah. Um... The hard, I'm okay. The real hard part is the dependency tree and cycles. So you've already done the hard part. Just, just, uh, just, uh, you can reward yourself with a, a tree walk interpreter. Uh, as he, you say, it just feels wrong to do everything on AST and inject in extra info. Uh, I'm pretty sure a tree, I'm pretty sure a tree walk AST doesn't, a tree walk interpreter just needs to store everything as like values. Like, a, you just, I don't think you need to write extra info in the AST, I'm pretty sure. No, no, I, I am sure. You don't, need to, you don't need to write extra info in the AST. I think you can just return a value and then just, like, like a box to value or not, not a box, like a struct. A tagged union or something. Uh, yeah, it's a... Yeah. Uh, Socrates says, uh, thanks again, man. I definitely make progress on the Lure Interpreter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wish you luck. Uh, Zaka Zaka says, I mean, the semantic checking needs to inject in extra info on the AST when the AST becomes not as pure. Oh, semantic checking. Oh, I just, I just, I just assume that uh, AST gets extra stuff put in there anyway. Um, I treat ASTs like uh, intermediate representations anyway. Uh, if I'm writing a compiler with an AST, I just shove the types in there. Uh, it may not be an AST anymore, but who cares? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not a concern. You know, uh, if I were in your position, um, what I don't like doing is I'm really stingy with the amount of IRs, right? When I look at Zig, like, uh, when I look at Rust, it goes from, like, AST to, 
uh, typed AST, which is fine. I consider those the same thing. But then it goes to mid-level IR, and then to LLVM, and then out, right? Why can't you just go into mid-level IR and then have all the data flow optimizations and everything all the time? Uh, and you say, I basically resolve names to IDs, which is fine to have inside the AST, and this would allow you to do the imtap. Yeah, no, um, what I, um, and I talked about this uh, inside the server, uh, Discord server, where I announced my streams. I was talking to someone about, um, yeah, proc ID, struct ID. What you can do is every single, every single variable inside of a function, not at the top level, every single variable inside a function, uh, you don't need to store scopes for. You can statically resolve them while parsing. And that's what I do for this language. I statically resolve as much as I can during the parsing step, and then anything left over is a global variable, right? Uh, is either a global variable, or if it's not found, it's a hard error. So, I mean, I'm going to be storing that information in the AST anyway. Uh, I, don't e I don't even think I would store a string representation of the name. I just draw. I just store a uh, a, a name like a, a like a reference to a local. Uh, yeah, I never really do ASTs like ASTs. Uh, you know, a good way to ex a good way to uh, explain that would be um. Here. Let main dot zero main dot uh this this whole thing is a local. Thing. So it's a main dot, uh, and that dot zero is its um, is its index into the locals. So it'll be a main. Uh, the name is main, but reality it's an index zero. And this is just the a this is my uh, AST, but not really an AST. So it's just let main equals this match on uh, variable zero, and this is the third index. Yeah, the names don't matter. Uh, you can remove the names and just leave the indexes. Yeah, so let v, let k, bool, uh, extraction, break, nothing. Yeah, uh, I I would just be storing that information in the AST anyway, anyway, and not treat it like a and not treat it like a syntax tree. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, I think that's all I have to say. I think that's uh, I think that's it. If uh, 